Hey again. Before this video starts, I want to just let you guys know about my website again. It's ColinMullen.com. You can go there, you can get prints, you can just look at art. You can just have a good day looking at art. Make your day a little bit better by looking at some art. ColinMullen.com. Hey everybody. Um, real quick before I get into this video's topic, I want to talk about this painting specifically because I think it's important for the state of the channel. You'll notice it's like halfway done. Arguably like 70% done when this video starts. Um, yeah, I realized like when I was doing it that it was going really well and I was gonna just do it off like recording and then I just started liking it so much that I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna film the rest of this. So um, hopefully that's okay. If it's not, let me know. If it is, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing with this channel. There's a lot I need to learn about this style of content. I've done, you know, streams and uh, joke highlight videos for the longest time that I, I kind of don't know how this is supposed to work. There's plenty of examples of this. I did not make up this format by a long shot. There's plenty of artists already on YouTube doing this format, but um, I'm hoping that, you know, my voice and the things that I say um, make it different. You know, Bob Ross essentially was doing this, except for it wasn't as fast as this. Just sort of talking about art while doing art. Kind of the most, yeah. Anyway. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out how this channel works and you'll have to tell me what does and does not work for you. And then I'll check the analytics and I'll check and see what people say. We'll go from there. But the long and short of it is I'm getting to do art and people hopefully are enjoying it. And I like that. Um, so I guess I should talk about why this. Um, this, this piece, I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. I was just gonna do Romanesque limbs uh, kind of connected together in a weird way, and I'll probably still do that painting, but um, then this started to happen, and I just kept going with it. It sort of did its own thing. I hate it when artists say that, but it really did. It really just started doing something um, that I didn't originally intended. I guess I started doing something I originally didn't intend, and then I just went with it. So um, that's why we've got this this random sort of painting. It's nice, it's a little bit of an art history troll, but I like it. Um, anyway, let's let's talk about a couple of things. And then I should say, when before we get into this topic, that it's, it's a very brief overview of my philosophy on these points. And it's definitely my philosophy, and you're more than welcome to disagree with me on this, but I do wanna talk about it, because it's something that I've been thinking about for a while, and I'm gonna break up these individual points into separate videos later, but I'd like to have like an overview video so you can just kind of watch and understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, four essential skills that artists should have. Uh, don't care what kind of artist you are. Like, doesn't matter if you're doing stuff that's gonna be in a gallery or you just wanna get it popular on a website or if you just uh, write music. It Literally, your media doesn't matter. I feel like these four skills are essential regardless. And uh, the first one is the technical skill. You have uh, artists, I, I think the first two are the most expected, so bear with me. Uh, your technical skill of just understanding how your tools work and how to use them the way that you want to. Understanding the basics of visual art, you know, uh, how colors interplay with each other, uh, color contrast, saturation, value, etc., etc. These basic things that you learn in art school. Um, I think that's one skill. But what's interesting, I think, about this list is I don't think you need to have all four. I think you need to have pretty much two really well done of the four. And if you have all four like on lockdown, that's great. Um, the next skill I think you should have as an artist is uh, the, the creative aspect. The, this, is, this is something I have to really explain because there's another one that's very similar to this. Um, understanding how to make something interesting. And I wanna differentiate that from the technical skill because I've seen children who have done really interesting concepts for drawings, but obviously they're like, you know, two or five or something, and they just don't have the technical skills yet. Children, you know, they should go to art college, I guess. Um, that That is a separate like skill set. That is a separate thing that you need to have. And it's, not required that you have the technical skills. You just have an idea for what a painting should be, or drawing should be, a song should be, and then you go from there. Uh, if we're talking about music, you know, like 
Dragon Force is a good example of someone who's technically very proficient, but creatively kind of vapid. Uh, it's nice to listen to, but let's be real. How many songs about fire and the flames do you really need to hear? Um, not a real favorite of mine, musically. But anyway. Um, then we get into like the business side of things. And I think that's the third skill that every artist should have to some degree or another. Um, you don't have to be um, like hardcore business. And I don't think you even have to be in it for the money or even really want to do art for the money. If you want to see your art shown at places, if you want people to see your art, you should have what I'm vaguely calling the, the art, like business side of things on lockdown. That's stuff like, you know, when to post things on websites, uh, SEO and stuff like that. You need to understand that for the sake of just getting it so people can see your work because you wanted them to, maybe. I mean, if that's what you wanted. Some people just make art for themselves. They don't even care. And that's totally valid. Um, and then the last thing, I think, is the spiritual element of art. And I, this is the one that's sort of similar to creativity. I'm not a religious person. I don't see spirituality and, you know, uh, religion to be the same thing at all. You can be a very spiritual person without being a very uh, religious person. So I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about, like, what's the point of art? Like, everyone thinks that everyone's agreed on that, but totally, like, all of art history has been people arguing about that. So whatever you think that art is, like, spiritually, especially if you've thought about it some, might not be what everyone else agrees is art or what the point of art is. Um, and that disagreement on what art is, is something that's ultra important. I'll give you an example of someone who's really good at that, but maybe not as good at other things. Um, Rothko would be a good example. Like his understanding of like why he does his art. If you look at a Rothko painting, you may not get it. But then when you actually like listen to him talk about his paintings, you start to understand what he's going for. Maybe Kandinsky is a better example where he talks about what the purpose of colors are. But that's a little bit more on the creative side. Then you get someone like Warhol, uh, Andy Warhol, who's really good at the like business side of it. He understands what's going to sell and how to sell it and how to sell it to people. Uh, Dolly, to some degree, was like this as well. If you watch any interaction he had with people, you'll understand that he knew he had, what he was doing. He very much understood what he was doing when he was talking to people. Some people just want to make art and they don't want to bother with the business part. And that's why it kind of needs to be its own video. All of these do, really. Uh, he he definitely exemplifies that in a way. Uh, and then the technical skill, I'm sure you've seen a thousand artists who really focus in on the technical skill. How to make it look photorealistic. But to that vein, to what end? Why? I don't know. I, I personally have a problem with the whole photorealism thing. Like, I, I think cameras do that plenty fine. That's just the spiritual side of me coming out when it comes to art. Um, what's the point of painting something that you could easily take a picture of? Um, why should you do it that way? Why not just take a picture? Anyway. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And the reason I bring these up at certain points is because when people ask me, I need to get good at art. How do I get good at art? Rev, how do I get good at art? My answer is gonna be, you need to get good at one of those four things. And but after you've listened to this, maybe you understand where you have some deficiency. And then from there, you can look up how to fix those things. You don't understand the technical bits. There's plenty of tutorials on how to do art. You don't understand how to do the creative bits. That's gonna take some soul searching, like figure out what is important to you, what do you want to express on a canvas, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the business stuff, there's plenty of stuff talking about how to, uh, as a musician, as a painter, as a uh, whatever, to get your stuff seen. What is SEO? What are these things? How do you get good at them? And I would not consider myself an expert in any of these things. Um, I'm okay at most of them. I'm say I'm better than a few people, if I can be so um, brash. I think I'm pretty good at this. Uh, in some degrees, but not others. Um, and I have room for improvement, but I understand where those deficiencies are. I'm going to try and improve on them, not just over the course of this series, but also, um, you know, just over my lifetime. Um, and so hopefully, 
this is kind of worked out to explain my my philosophy of those four things you need to have and again if you're just good at two of them you'll be fine um anyway we're coming up towards the end of this video and if you enjoyed this painting you can get it on uh colinmullen.com i'm going to have a uh, print of it available for you to buy with money or not or you could just look at it you could look at the final product and just see what that looks like if you want um but yeah, thank you for watching. Here's me signing it, and here's me signing off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!